Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel High Mathematics. Today we have a really interesting exponential equation 2 to the x equal to x. On the first side, this is like very simple question. A lot of students might be saying, hey mister, this is like very easy question. We don't have like a huge and complicated expression. 2 to the x exponential function, this one is linear function, so we can easily solve it. Right now we can easily solve this challenge by yourself. You can easily pause the video and write your solution, write your assumption down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to check, to check our answers. So right now let's let's start to solve it. First of all, let's apply nature lock on both side let's do the thing right now so on the left side let's apply natural log so we have natural log of of 2 to the x on the left side equal to natural log of x so this is our first step and why are, why I apply natural log on both sides because then the main log property of this x will come down will come down right here so as a result we will have like x times nature log 2 equal to nature log x Right now, let's try to group our constant and our variable. So our constant, for example, on the right side, because we prefer our variables on the left side. So for this step, let's divide both sides by x. When we divide both sides by x, let's do, let's do the thing right now. Let's divide both sides by x. On the left side, we have x times nature log 2. We divide it by x on the left side. And equal to nature log x, we divide absolutely on the same expression. We divide by, by x. Right now, if we look closely, on the left side, we can easily cancel this x and we have only nature log 2 on the left side and on the right side we have our variables nature log x and we have x but we know let's change position we can easily do this we have equal signs of so this one this expression let's write on the left side and our nature log 2 let's write on the right side so we have nature log x divided by x equal to equal to nature log 2 so this is our first step i hope you understand this step according to this according to this natural log. Right now we need to know, we need to remember, we need to learn about lambda w function. I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, so I hope a lot of viewers understand this function right now, but if you're a, like a new viewer, I want to explain it for you. So for example, imagine we have expression like a times e to the power a. <clears throat> when we apply lambda w function from this expression, this is like a structure to this expression, when we apply this lambda w function of this expression, we have only our a on the on the right side okay so right now let's for example write something like that for example like uh, let's write 6 times e to the power to the power 6 when we apply lambda w function we can easily do this because we have absolutely the same expression right here and right here this is like the main rule and uh, the main thing to apply lambda w function the same expression right here and the same expression right here lambda w function of this expression equal to equal to 6 and one more, one, one more example, for example, we have lambda w function of 20 times e to the power 20. This is equal to 20, okay? So I hope you understand this information about lambda w function. On the left side, right now, let's try to create this type of expression. We need to create this structure, a times e to the power a. We have something like that. We don't have e, we don't have uh, the same expression a right here and right here. So right now, let's try to think how can we create this type of expression. First of all, instead of this x, let's write e to the power natural log x. So instead of this x right here, we have e to the power natural log x is equal to x. This is absolutely correct. Think in terms of natural log because we, we're going to cancel this e and natural log, so we have absolutely the same thing. But instead of this x in our denominator, let's plug in this e to the power natural log x. Let's do the thing right now. So we have natural log x divided by e to the power natural log x equal to, equal to natural log 2. Okay, this is our step. So right here, we instead of this x, we wrote this e to the power nature log x. Right now, in our general case, in our structure, we don't need our denominator. So right now, let's try to think how can we re how can we bring this from our denominator to numerator. Of course, we can do this because there is a really great uh, property in terms of in terms of school school power rule. If we have one divided by a to the power b, if we bring it from our denominator to numerator, we need to put minus right here. Okay. So right now, let's bring this from our denominator to numerator. As a result, we have nature log x times e to the power minus natural log x because we bring in this from our denominator to numerator equal to natural log natural log 2 and right now a lot of students make this mistake because they apply lambda w function because they say that this is exactly the expression that we really need because we have natural log we have natural log we have e but if you look closely right here we have minus so it means that we're talking about completely different expression right here so natural log x and minus natural log x this is completely different thing in terms of like you algebra and 100 
100% in terms of geometry because we're talking about the opposite sign, so it's completely different graph. Okay, so right now we need to think how can we create minus right here because then we will have minus nature log x and minus nature log x. For this, let's multiply right here both side by minus 1 or divide or multiply, doesn't matter. Let's, for example, multiply both side by minus 1. We will have like minus nature log x times e to the power minus nature log x equal to minus nature log 2. Okay, so we hope you understand it. We just multiplied both sides by minus 1. And right now, if you look closely, minus nature log x, for example, this is our a, we have e and we have minus nature log x. This is absolutely the same a. So a times e to the power a. This is our, this is our a. So we can easily apply lambda w function. Let's do the thing right now. Let's do this move. So we have lambda w function of minus nature log x times e to the power minus nature log x equal to lambda w function of minus nature log 2. Don't forget about this right side because a lot of students forget to apply lambda w function on the right side. We need to do absolutely the same step, absolutely the same thing on both sides, on left and on the right. Okay, as I told before, this is our a, for example, this is our e, this is our a, and when we apply lambda w function, we have only our a. a in our case equal to minus nature log x. So we have minus nature log x equal to lambda w function of minus nature log, nature log 2. Really great. And right now, the final step right here. Let's multiply both sides by minus 1. We're going to find our x right here. Don't be scared about this expression on the right side. This is like basic expression with lambda w function. This is a constant. A lambda w function of a constant is a constant. So don't be scared about this right side. On the left side, we have minus nature log x. So first of all, let's multiply both sides by minus 1 or divide both sides. Doesn't matter. As a result, we will have like nature log x equal to minus lambda w function of minus nature log, nature log 2. Right now, let's let's apply base of e on both sides. Okay, let's write base of e on the left side. We will have like e with the power of nature log x, and absolutely the same thing on the right side. E with the power of minus lambda w function of minus nature log nature log two. Okay, I hope you understand this step. We just create base of e, and why we did it? Because right here, right now, we have e to the power nature log x, and if you look closely before, we have absolutely the same expression, e to the power nature log x. But in the same way, we can change it as x. So instead of this expression on the left side, we can easily cancel this e and nature log, and as a result, we have only, only our x. So our x equal to e to the power minus lambda w function of minus nature log nature log two really great. And right now the final tricky move right here, we can easily bring this from our numerator to the numerator because we have minus. And if we bring it from our numerator to the numerator, we can easily write it with the positive sign. So our x equal to 1 over e to the power lambda w function of minus nature log nature log 2. And this is, looks like our answer, but um, I was wondering, uh, I was wondering what about approximately answer. And uh, I was plugging in this, uh, this expression in internet, I was finding this lambda w function of minus nature log 2, and I was wondering about this value. Is this real number or is it positive, positive number? And when I check it, I found that lambda w function of minus nature log 2 does not exist. Okay, does not, does not exist. Okay, and uh, I mean right here that we are not talking about real numbers. So in terms of real numbers, this lambda w function of minus nature log 2 does not exist. So this is not a real number value. So we are talking about a complex value. So lambda w function of minus nature log 2 is a complex value. So we are talking about a complex, complex number. And if, if this value is a complex, so we are talking about a complex solution. So this x is a complex complex solution. Complex complex root. These are a complex root. And after finding this information about this complex root, I was plugging in this question in terms of geometric perspective, because if you're talking about complex root, then it means that these graphs does not intersect with each other. So we're talking about, in the beginning, we had 2 to the x exponential function and x we have right here. So we're talking about linear function and exponential function. And when I plug in this thing in, in, in internet libraries, right now we can easily see this see this uh, on, your, on your screen, we can easily see that we are not talking about point of intersection. There is no point of inter points of intersection. So we are talking about two graphs which does which not intersect with each other. So exponential function does not intersect with this with this linear function. So this is really also really interesting information. So if you're thinking that this is a real number root, when we find in this lambda w function of minus nature log 2, you'll be like, okay, this is complex value. So we are talking about a complex, complex solution. 
and in terms of geometry if we're talking about complex solution in terms of geometry this is like um two graphs which not intersect with each other okay so in terms of geometry this is two graphs which does not intersect with each other in terms of algebra this is like a complex root with the with the i so we can easily find this value but we don't need it if you're sitting in your exam this is absolutely this is absolutely enough for you so i hope you understand the explanation i hope you learn something new write your suggestion write your assumption down into the comment section write your write your solution write your notes write your information write your assumption down into the comment section let's discuss about this question and also thank you everyone for your support thank you everyone for supporting my videos for supporting my channel i really appreciate it it's extremely important support for you i try to make videos every day i try to post it and uh, right now we have more than like 200 videos so if you want to learn something new if this video is helpful, I really appreciate it. If you learn like a little bit of new information, this is extremely important for me. That is, this video is also helpful for you. So thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. See you in the next videos and have a great day.